The Redis is market for small cells. I would say it's global. We started to see all of it coming from the Asia side initially. So we have customers in Korea who are ahead in the game today. And then we have seen a lot of traction in Japan, China, and the market in India. All of that going towards a TD, LTE type of a solution for all kinds of small cells. And we see that 2014 might be when they will pick up the trial phase into a deployment phase into, into that market. Then coming back into US, we have customers who have been using the small cells again uh, for uh, the initial LTE deployments that they have. And not only that, for the adjacent markets where you have A&D and public safety kind of applications and they will be using the LTE communication and eventually the small cells based communication for, for their applications, which will be called as the niche applications apart from the commercial markets. Initially, when we started our LTE developments two and a half years ago, it was all about LTE for data and 3G for voice, and not anymore. What we see is that today the data speeds are getting proven into the field, and so now customers want one network to support voice and data both for their customers. And so VOLTE or voice or LTE becomes very important. We have been in trials with our customers showing voice working onto our solution in their network and we will be doing some advanced techniques to have optimized voice delivered over LTE, be it FDD or be it TDD. That's a good question. In fact, that's the next stage of small cells. That's where it is going. Uh, the, most of the platforms are going to be supporting FDD and TDD simultaneously and it again makes sense on what kind of spectrum allocation the operator is using and how that then matches with the UEs or the devices that consumers have and, and the need to be able to offload some of the traffic from the overloaded FDD spectrum onto the easily available or sort of easily available TDD spectrum. So that's where the FDD and TDD simultaneous support of small cells comes into picture. The value that we deliver, it's a comprehensive solution that we put a lot of effort into to get the integration all the way done through the physical layer to the layer 2 all the way up to layer 3 and the application functionality that includes the SON, that includes the ONM and the radio resource management. And not only that, we stay with our customers from all the way from the development phase to the way they get into field trials and deployments and all the experience that we have been gone through now uh, by being part of our customers deployment phase that matters is what we have seen. We have been uh, very efficient in working very closely with the end operator to understand what their deployment situation is and how to tune the parameters and that's what we bring into the solution be it the SON algorithms, be it the MAC scheduler that we do. all the time so they do want a product obviously with the baseline working stability and the performance and then beyond that it really is to tune to what their consumer base wants so it could be a way to tune it to a deployment where you see a very congested type of a locale where you want to have small cell network not only offloading but also providing a capacity addition and the coverage so doing it all in a way that it suits their network which might be already laying down a macro LTE and then adding the small cells comes with a problem of interference that you will be encountering into and so all those scenarios come with new requirements that are not exactly the standards defined and that's where the tuning or the customization comes into picture and we work closely with them to, to complete that as an add-on to the solution that we provide off the shelf. We 
to provide a solution that is more software focused and the small cells is a platform that is a hardware plus software combination. So as part of that we work with our strategic partners, the Mindspeed, Intel being one and Broadcom being another to take some names. We have also been working with some new partners lately and uh, so it's a complete ecosystem where we tailor our solution to match with what the end customer wants and uh, it's all about tuning the performance of the product with the platform itself and that's where we have our partners that we work with. So in Korea, we have three major operators supporting an LTE deployment. They have started, I, I would say they were the most ahead in getting the LTE into deployment. They started two years back. We have been learning and working a lot in, in that region uh, to get the small cells into real shape of a product and out in the field. What activity we have been part of is the a whole set of trials that the product has to go through. We started with a, with building an enterprise or an indoor open access small cell for our customers, uh, major suppliers in Korea into all the operators. I would say most of the Korean operators are ending up with using Radius's solution today. Uh, the same set of trials that we did, now the product is into deployment. We are seeing a ramp up into uh, the deployment volumes this year. At the same time, we have started to work with them in other product segments like the residential femtos uh, for the indoor access and also the outdoor or the pico cells for public access. And a uh, lot of activity going on right now to get those two segments ready for their debut in the market. And we see that the mid of this year will be the time when those two segments will be out there into real deployments. So for the home or the residential market, that started with the traditional femtocells, we call them. We provide a 3G femtocell today that is available for a residential use. And at the same time, when we evolved into LTE, we have a solution that we provide for the residential use for LTE. And, and it's the same software solution that's scalable through configuration and our customers have a way of adding a coverage for indoor applications. An exciting news for us, we work with Airspan. There are customers, we develop a solution for them for their LTE TDD PicoCell product that uh, they have been selling and uh, we recently upgraded the product to support LTE advanced features. So features like EICIC, ABS and so on uh, that just makes it more efficient as not only the LTE data speeds but also to an LTE headnet environment. And so that's where uh, we have won an award here at MWC with telecoms.com. The award category was pushing the limits and it's a solution jointly provided by Airspan and Radisys with our total e Node B sitting on an Airspan platform.